Hi, this is Samir Banud. I'm here at Gold Gym, my old home. I come here every once in a while and, uh, you know, checking out the guys and some of my friends competing at the Olympia. But, uh, well, honestly, Phil Heath won the Olympia six times or, or seven times already because, you know, he's got the body, he's got the flow, and he's really, uh, he's an incredible bodybuilder. And I, I really find it very difficult for anyone to really shake him. I know we have guys that really work so hard. I know Big Rami is, you know, in the winner's circle. I know Sean Roden, I know William Bonac, and, and Nathan Diasha from England, and I have never seen him in person. Uh, you know, anything is possible, anything could happen. But in all honesty, I think uh, Phil Heath have the package, and that's why they call uh, Phil the gift. And I, I think he's the man to beat, without a doubt. And, and will he repeat? Will he become eight-time Mr. Olympia to uh, break uh, Ron Coleman or tie Ron Coleman in uh, uh, Lee Haney's record? So I think he have all the tools, all the weapon to repeat in all honesty i think he's still the favorite by by landslide and I, I really see him doing it and so you know i love to see sean roden or bonac i think bonac was the most conditioned he was mr olympia when he came into condition to me bonac was more ready than anyone but then you know the body plays a role the package. And this is why I actually won the Olympia back in 83. I had guys like, you know, Lee Haney, Bertha Fox, and several, Joseph Polkos from Germany, and those guys were outweighing me by 50 pounds. But sometimes you don't win just by mass alone. But when you have the package and the quality, things will become more in your favor. And, and, and I think, uh, Phil Heath have made a living in the past six, seven years because he have the package. You know, how many times did Kai Green try it against Phil? But then again, Kai Green, who I think is a great, great bodybuilder, you know. Uh, it's just that thing about Phil, uh, the package, the flow. You know, you look at his calves, his legs, and you know, he's put together properly. Again, you know, we know Bonac is going to come in prepared. And I have to see uh, Nathan, who I saw some pictures, very impressive. It's really hard to say unless you see them all on stage together. But I still would bet on Phil to do it again. So this is a Mr. Olympia from my perspective. So I'm doing my Nostradamus things. Uh, may the best man win. Let's hope the best man win and let's hope uh, we'll have a fair decision and the judges will be uh, kind enough to, you know, I'm sure they will. And the classic physique, uh, my friend Brayon is competing. He is uh, fantastic. He won the show last year and I know he is improved over last year's. I'm going to see Brayon tomorrow, by the way, and we're going to go over some posing. <coughs> Brayon is fantastic condition tomorrow i will can confirm that more uh, i have a friend uh, his name uh stan de longo from france who's really looking incredible uh, we know there is a uh, chris bumstad who's really good and uh, there's a couple of other people you know we know there's uh danny hester we know there are guys like uh, David Hoffman from Germany. Also, I heard he was very good. In um, Arash, who's trained in New York at Bev Francis Gym. And uh, it's exciting. And I, I honestly see the war this time between, uh, I, from what I saw, the people I was around, I think Brayon have the edge, I think, uh, my friend Stan DeLongo, who really I was working with, was posing. He's vastly improved over the past few years. I think he's going to surprise a lot of people. And then, you know, Arash is good. Danny Hester's, I love the way his body looks. 
And I felt Danny should have done better last year. I think he was, I think, I don't want to use the word Rob, but I think he was overlooked. And um, it's very exciting. I can't wait to see the show. I'll be there. Now, if you want me to discuss the 212, again, um, we know uh, Flex Lewis, he has the tools, he have the package, and Flex has won it already, what, four or five times? Yeah. yeah. I think Flex still be the favorite. <coughs> However, um, you know, Ahmad from Kuwait, Ashkelani, is good, and um, let's see what he's gonna bring to the table. And we have, uh, we have more, we have several guys. I, I honestly uh, don't memorize each and every one of them by name, but um, uh, I see, you know, um, there's a couple Canadian guys. Sure, I can't think of their name right now. Um, Thomas, could you help me? Uh, I can help you. I, I, I just Let's trained my program. butt off. Yeah, Zane Watson. Yeah, Zane Watson is good. And there's another guy too, uh, my God. Well, you know, the, the main standout for me normally would be uh, Flex Lewis, of course, and, and, and he's really he's been walking away with the show. Supposedly there's a, a, a guy from Iran, his name Hani, uh, Hani, what's his last name? Hadi, Hadi Chopin, Hadi Chopin. Uh, Hadi is very, very good bodybuilder. Uh, let's see, I never saw him on stage personally. I think he's very impressive. You know, to be truthful, uh, I think uh, Flex Lewis would be the man to beat, you know, after all, he won it four years in a row. I'd love to see more of a war on that stage. Let's see what Ahmad Ashkelani from Kuwait, who I think if he improves his lower body, he could be a, a threat and uh, may the best man win. And uh, it would be excited to see everyone. So we'll see you at the Olympia. And, Thomas, if you want to talk to me after the show to wrap, I'll be happy to tell you my opinion after prejudging.